Okay, we are live uh, for our reading sprints, our first reading sprints of the year, which is fantastic. I'm really excited um, because we haven't read together in quite some time. I'm in my guest room and all these pillows are like not in the right so I'm like really leaning in. This This is so awkward. But anywho, welcome back. Um, Laura will be joining us shortly. Um, but I didn't want to leave anybody hanging. So hello. It's nice to see you guys. Um, tonight we are starting, if you're in the book club, that is. Um, and you don't have to read this if you don't want. But the book in January for Double Book Co's reading group or book club um, is That Summer by Lauren Willig. So that's what I will be starting. And I believe Laura will be starting it as well. I will be listening to it on an audiobook because that is the only version I could find on Hoopla. Um, so that's how I will be reading the book. And I may uh, switch off from that book and something else. We'll see. I'm not sure. So I see that Cool Gamer is here. Andy, hello again. Hi, Allie. Yay, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. It has been too long, and I'm glad that you are here as well. Looks like, Kim, you're going to be finishing Mad Honey. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Well, good. I'm glad you'll be able to finish that with us tonight. We'll see how long we go this evening. It looks like Laura has joined us. I'm just going to add her here. And there we go. Perfect. Hi. Hello. Sorry about that. I just um, started chatting about how I I'm really in a weird position, like, because all these pillows that I'm using are, like, deflating as yeah. I'm pushing on them. So I got to <laughs> figure that out because I'm, like, falling. But, uh, yeah. Well, well, that's better. So, anywho, um, yeah. Andy's looking to see how that is. That's great. I was just letting everybody know too, for the book that we are reading this month, um, that I'm reading it in audio format. Did you get a copy yourself? Yeah. Or are you reading it? Or... Okay. Hardcover. Yep. Yeah. I get in these huh? kicks where like I find an author I either know I like, or I think I like. It's worse if I think I would like them and I haven't read them yet. And I will just go and collect every book I can find by them. Like I just get them and have them because I'm a crazy person. So yeah, this has been on my shelf for quite a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, from what I understand, it sounds like it's pretty good. So Kim says her book is interesting, but good. it's kind of slow. Yeah. Allie says you'll be delighted to learn that I'm only here for five to 10 minutes. I have a meeting. Aww. Just wanted to say hi to everyone who wasn't in the product stream. Happy 2023. Aw, well, thanks, Allie. I figured, you know, when we changed yeah. the time, I was like, she's probably going to be in work. Because usually we catch you, like, in the wee hours of the morning and then on your way to work. Mm -hmm. So I was like, she's going to be at work. But we totally appreciate you being here. You are Absolutely. sometimes the light of our live streams. <laughs> <laughs> so, anywho, well, if you were not in our product launch video, we did mention the um, three books that we will be voting from uh, for February. Um, so, are you able to go through those again, Laura? Or, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, the first one. Here. I won't read the synopses again. I'll try and summarize them, maybe. I don't know. The first one is In a Book Club Far Away by Tiff Marcello. This was a suggestion from the lovely Andy. And it looks like a group of friends who are army wives that um, had a falling out. 
And then eight years later, one of them reaches out to try and get some help. And they all decide to get together again and try to reconnect and heal old wounds. So that's the first. The second one is The Kitchen God's Wife here by Amy Tan. And this is about um, two lifelong friends, two Chinese women. Um, and we follow one of them as she goes back in time to the early 1900s and World War II, living in various places in China and how she got to America and um, what this big secret is between this, these two friends. Um, so that is Kitchen God's Wife. And the last one is How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days by K.M. Jackson. This is, looks like a contemporary romance um, that is about this woman who is in love with Keanu Reeves. It's her celebrity crush and she finds out he's getting married and loses her mind and convinces her best friend who is a guy and who's been in love with her forever that they should go and try and stop Keanu's wedding. But the friend is, is really hoping that she will fall for him instead. So yeah, so those are our three very random, not at all similar titles we have for choices for February all over the place. Yeah, and those um, will be, so you can vote um, in the comment section of our new product video that we um, just posted. Um, and then also in our community tabs on our um, solo channel. So on Spinelli Speaks and on Book Bubbler. So those will be available until the 23rd for you to vote for February. Mm -hmm. so yeah. So let us know in the comments, what is everyone yep. reading this evening? Um, like I said, I'll be reading our book club book via audiobook, And I'll probably, while I'm listening to that, I'll probably try to work on some double book host stuff. <laughs> um, and Laura is also reading it, but physically. What is everyone else reading? Let us know in yep. the chat. Other than that, um, while everyone's putting in their reads for this evening, have you had any reading for the year yet? Um, yeah, I finished three books and two of them were five stars, which is unusual because last year I think it took till October before I got a five star read. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, it's been all right. What books were you yeah. reading? Um, First one I read was Rest is Resistance by Trisha P. Hersey. That's nonfiction. Um, that was a three-star read for me. I think it's a really good message, but it was really repetitive. So that mm. was up. And then I just finished, God, I always mess up this title, but it's The Boy, The Fox, The Horse, and The Mole or something by Charlie Maxey. Yes, it was I have that. It was a few years ago. Oh, so yeah. Good wonderful and heartbreaking and life affirming and yeah so that was one of them and the other one i read is the reluctant carer which is by the reluctant carer it's nonfiction. he's anonymous um and currently living in england but it's his diary of taking care of his elderly parents and what it's like to care for people who care for you um what it's like to work the system which of course it's different in the uk versus here in the us but there was so much related to and I mean, I must have highlighted like 40 different things in the book. And yeah, I really saw myself in that book a lot. So yeah, that's what I have read this year so far. Very nice. Very nice. How, about, how about you? What have you been reading? Um, So I've been reading off of my e-reader lately because, and I'm not, I was never big into e-books, but while mm -hmm. I was at the hospital, this second time <laughs> um I only read ebooks because I was I didn't know how long I was going to be in the room and then you know lugging the books around was like a huge hassle and I wasn't really I didn't really know what I was in the mood for until I like wanted to read so I read a right. ton of like random books while I was in the hospital so now um or late as of late baby G's been playing on the floor more so, like, I don't have to, like, be right there, but I have to still pay attention and stuff. So I can't listen to an audiobook, which is what I usually listen to. So I've been reading more ebooks again because it's easier to just have the one thing than to be paging. And then if, you, if I lose a page, I have to do something. So on my Hoopla account, which is where I get most of my books from 
when it's not my physical books, I saw that they had um, the School of Good and Evil, which I keep seeing places. I don't know. And every time I go oh, to yeah. your house, it's like sticks out on your shelf. So I'm like, oh, maybe I'll read that. Yeah. <laughs> and so I read the first one and I'm about a quarter into the second one and they're terrible. Like they're not very good. And what I mean is, is like <laughs> the idea is really good. And I really mm -hmm. like fairy tale stuff. Like I just do, but like, I don't like one of the main characters like at all. And I don't think that their overall, like, they meaning the author, like, they're trying to have this good versus evil, and then, but everyone's good, and end evil, and it's not well executed, and I don't feel like anyone actually learns their lesson. Like, there's, like, there's all this moral fortitude throughout the whole book, but then, like, at the end, you're like, but did they actually learn anything? And I feel mm -hmm. like in this second one, which is called The Land Without Princes or something like that, this yeah. one's a big gender role thing. And mm -hmm. already I'm a quarter of the way through and I'm like, this is not going to go well. <laughs> this is not <laughs> like there's no way this author is going to be able to like make this message appropriate. It's going to be dumb. But I can't stop reading because I really like Agatha, which is one of the main characters. And I feel like she's the only one that is, like, true to her character and, like, makes sense. So, like, I just want to know what happens. So I'm, like, forced to read these 500-page books <laughs> because I want to know about one character. Mm -hmm. So I read the first I loved one. the first book. The first one was so good. I thought that was the best one, but I read it right when it came out. So it was like the hot new, like middle grade, young adult, young, young adult book. And I was like, this is so great. I bought it for my friend's kids because they were the right age. And like, you guys are going to love this. The second one was fine. And then I think I DNF the series. I was like, yeah, I think I'm done. So they're gone from my house now. <laughs> so the first one was the best one? Well, I only read two, so. But still, the first one was the best yeah. one. I was like, I gave it like a really flaccid three stars. Mm -hmm. I think I gave it four or five, but I was so excited. And that was like right when a lot of fairy tale stuff was getting popular again, you know, and I had yeah. missed the um, whole, what is that? I see it all the time, the whole like. Cinderella, who's a bot, that one, like that Ooh, whole series. Those are good. Yeah, I missed those the hype for all of that. I missed all those. Sipper. So I wanted to catch this. Yes, that's what it is. I wanted to catch this newer, like, young, young adult yeah. series right off, like, hot off the presses. So I, like, got into it and I was super excited about it. I don't know if I give it four stars anymore, but I don't know. They were fun. Well, I think there's a movie on Netflix now for this yes, there's the a series. series yeah. But I don't think it's mm -hmm. meant to like cover the series. I think it's just like a one off. So Okay. So I wanna read I wanna watch that. So yeah, so I finished the first one and I'm a quarter of the way through the second one. And then mm -hmm. I read our book. So um for those of you who don't know, Laura and I also oh, read yeah. separately. We do a buddy read for the full year. The first year that we did it, we read Edward Rutherford's London, which was fantastic. I highly recommend if anyone's interested in that. Um, definitely pick that up. And then the second year, we decided we wanted to do something different because if anyone's read Edward Rutherford, it's a really heavy book. <laughs> and it's only one book. And it's, it was 1,200 pages. Yeah. So we're like, oh, 100 pages per month. And it was tough to get through. So we're like, let's do something light. So we picked um, Lauren Willig, who's the author we're reading this month, mm -hmm. uh, the Pink Carnation series. Laura found it, um, and it was perfect because it's 12 books, and that was fantastic. We had so much fun reading that. Mm -hmm. um, it was so exciting. You know, it's a spy, espionage, but in, you know, 
um, what time era? Uh, Nap the Napoleonic Wars, Napoleonic? right? Napoleonic? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then it also has um, like this time frame. So it's like flashbacks and it's, it's really good. It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. And then last year we were supposed to read another Rutherford. Yeah. I got mm -hmm. three chapters in, waited for Laura to catch up. And then it was December. Yeah. So seriously. We, yeah. We, we didn't, <laughs> we did not read together last year. So we decided no. let's pause on the Rutherford. Let's do something fun <laughs> again. So mm -hmm. we are now reading Joanne Flukes series, which mm -hmm. I know has more than 12. It's like 20 something, 29 books I think or she's something still publishing like that. Them. Yeah. yeah. So the first one is called the chocolate chip cookie cookie murder, murder. Mm -hmm. and i read that <laughs> did you yeah. have you started it yet <laughs> yes i did it's like it was the 8th of january and you're like i finished let me know when you catch up i was like what the? i, <laughs> I didn't have the book for like two days from the library because the library was closed i'm sorry that's okay and i, I don't even know what happened delivered and i picked it up <laughs> it was just like I, literally i'm on chapter three and that's all that I have gotten read is that is to, I'm up to chapter three. So I have like 300 pages to go. I will get there, but not in eight days. <laughs> I don't even know how it happened. I think. Yeah. Cause I, I've this had, easy reading. so yeah, I've just, I've been reading more on the ebook <laughs> and it just so randomly I'll just read and I don't really like to watch TV without also doing something else. So I was reading while I put the TV on at night and it just happened. I just finished it. Mm -hmm. So I finished that one. <laughs> I did not. I did download yeah. the second one. I did download the second mm -hmm. one, but I haven't started it yet. Cause I'm like, I should probably wait until she Thank finishes you. the first one. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> but anywho, let's get back to our lovely book club. And find out what everyone is reading. So it looks like Andy is going to be reading that summer. Um, and also mm -hmm. reading Pyrie of the Orange Tree. I've heard. That's a chunkster mm -hmm. man. Yes. I've heard mixed reviews on that one. Um, but I think the majority, even if they didn't like it thought that there was a lot there like it's impactful yeah so but yeah that's like is that part book. of that is that part of that mime order series that she started or is this a separate series that she started because that mime order sure. that's the first book in that that's supposed to be like 12 books long or something i don't think she's there i don't know andy is that part of that series or no we will find out Jenna, Hi, Jenna has the book, but it's sitting on her shelf because it's enormous. You know, mm -hmm. Jenna, it's funny you should say that because I have a video coming up. I'm not sure when, if it'll be in January or February. I'm thinking it's going to be in February, but I'm going to be creating a video about why we cannot read big books. Something like that. I don't know if that's my title, but you know what I mean? Like I've got a ton of big books sh sh shitting, sitting on my shelves. And you just can't get to them because you're like, oh, it's too big. It's too big. It's too big. I'm going to talk about why and how you can read those books. Nice. So it's a big issue. I know. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm just staring at it like. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Are you reading that with hmm. Roving Reader? She mentioned your buddy reading at the moment. Oh. What was Allie reading? I don't remember her saying anything. I must have missed that video that... Oh, no, she mentioned to you. Oh, she's talking, talking to Karen someone else. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was like, wait a second. I caught up on Karen's stuff. Andy, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. yeah, there we go. <laughs> I mixed them up. Okay. Debbie is reading A Wedding on Christmas oh. Street by Ivy Pembroke. That sounds really nice. sweet. It's just sweet and short chapters. Second in the series. 
That's nice. I should um I should write that down for my I always read Christmas books in December. Mm-hmm. That sounds cute. Loving it, taking notes to keep it straight. Buddy read, but I'm trying yeah. it. Very good. Nice. Yep, there you go. So yes, Andy <laughs> is reading that as a buddy read. Small booktube world. Actually, booktube mm-hmm. is quite large. Um, but usually your your sector of booktube is very small so usually Mm -hmm. you know a lot of the same people because you find one and they recommend the same in the same group because sometimes i just do random searches and then i'm like who the heck are all of these people i've never seen any (laughs) of these people before and then you go and you watch one of their videos and they're mentioning all these other people. And I'm like, who are these people? I know uh, mm-hmm. books like Whoa mentioned booktube is like high school. And not, I mean, it is like high school, not in Laura and I's sector of booktube. We are not like high school. No. But there's a lot of drama out there, like a lot of drama. Mm-hmm. But what she meant by saying that is, in high school, you have like classes where like usually you're friends with everybody in your class. That's how booktube is. Like if you started your channel, like you're usually friends with everyone that like kind of started their channel at the same time, which is totally true. Um, Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a lot of like, there's so many different worlds within booktube. It's crazy. So anywho, little side note, just wanted to mention we've been here for 21 minutes and we have not started reading yet. (laughs) It's so bad. It's so bad. What a fun way to buddy raid. Yes. Your projects are fun because you, and I mean, Laura and I already know each other, but I think, quite frankly, I think we really became bestest friends because we were reading together in the year. But then once you like, you read with someone for that long. You, like, know what they like, and you know, like, so when you're reading and something happens, you think, oh, my gosh, Laura's going to love this, or Mm -hmm. I don't think she's going to like this scene, or Mm -hmm. I can't wait to know what she's going to think about this, like, because you start to get their little clips and everything, so it is Mm -hmm. fun to read with somebody for more than just one book. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. You really have that is to, a downside. Yeah. And that's what happened with Sarum last year is yeah. I'm just kind of we got busy. You got a yep. baby. Like yeah, you know, I yeah. and I helped my mom most of last year. So it was yeah. Just gotta wait. And that's just why we picked wait. something like lighter because these lighter books, yeah. one, we're able to read faster, and two, you know, it's just easy reading, if anything else, if we're having a tough time. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Here is your answer. It is book one in the Roots of oh, Chaos. Book two comes out soon. Thank you. I kept needing to look that up because I see I watch a lot of British booktubers too, like um Ash and I mean Frolicly Fiction and Becca's books and Back in the Books, whatever. I watch all those people and like I think Ashley was just talking about that recently. And I meant to look it up. Like, is this part of that same series with Smith Shannon? And it's not. So thank you. Like off of my mental list. Tick. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have a phone in my hand to look it up, but you know. Yeah. yeah. Debbie says, over Christmas, listen to two follow-up books from the Rosie Hot. Oh, nice. Ooh, you did! In case anyone liked the one from before. They were cute. Three-star reads. Yeah, I have, um, I have access to all of those on Hoopla um, via audio and ebook, but I did not get to reading them. So thank you for letting us know that they were, they were okay. Yeah. Three stars. Awesome. And I meant, I meant to read the next one, which is set at Christmas time in December, but the whole month was just me taking care of my mom essentially. So yeah. like, it was just a disaster. And I'm like, maybe, maybe next year I'll try for Christmas. Yeah. But yeah. I'll read yeah. It. Thanks for letting us know. That's I really so like good. Jenny Colgan. She's such a fun author. Yeah. Yeah, I like that character, too. That was a good book. That was a good one. I think mm-hmm. I still have it. Yeah, it's right there. And yes, I know. I am, too. They do. 
it, they're too, they're very overwhelming. They're very huge. So it's kind of like why I start it. Cause I don't feel like I'm going to finish it kind of thing. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are all caught up with comments. So I think it's high time we actually do a reading sprint. Um, so let's go ahead and do our regular sprint of 20 minutes. That seems to always be a great um, time for us. I'm going to be setting up our banner that will show that. So since it's like 58, we'll just do to the 20 after. Um, and I'm going to hook up to my audiobook. And I think what I'm going to do is I will set us up with an ASMR. I think I saw, since this is a summertime read, I think I saw Mary, who I don't know if she's in here today, but she is one of our book club members. She has a YouTube channel that does ASMR. So I'm going to go and find one. I think I saw one on her page that looked like a lake. So I'm going to grab that and put that on for us and um, hope that everyone enjoys the reading. What's up? Okay. Nothing. I just said that. I think that sounds familiar to me that she has a lake one. Yeah. 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 I'm going to mute myself otherwise, but until 20 after, enjoy your reading. <laughs>
Okay, so we are back from our 20 minutes. Let us know in the comments what you were able to accomplish, whether that is reading or five rounds of Candy Crush, which you did not beat the level. I hate that game. Uh, how did you do, Laura? I'm good. I got to page 31. <coughs> what Same. page? 31. I'm liking it. How about you? What, what did you get to? That? Oh, that's um, chapter three. Chapter three. Yeah. How about you? Um, well, I'm listening to it on audio, and so far it says I'm five percent in the book. Um, it just started in chap. Oh, it's still going. What the hell? Oh man, I'm on to backtrack. I pressed pause before. Dang it. Um, I entered chapter two, which has Imogen. Mm -hmm. And the Arthur guy, I think it's Arthur, the mm -hmm. one that's not from the village. He just told her that she looks like a Madonna or something. And I'm like, oh, here we go. It's Essex Serpent all over again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's where I am. But uh, it's feeling very like secrety. Like the first yeah. chapter where the girl is like, oh, I don't want to go and blah, blah, blah. It just seems very deceptive. Like, not that she's being deceptive, but like there's something there that we don't know about. And it keeps being alluded to, like, revolving around the mother's death. Did the mother die? And that's why they came to New York? Oh, are you frozen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was killed in a car crash. Okay. Yeah, see, it's hard since I'm not able to see it. Sometimes in the audio versions, I, like, miss it until, like, they reference it again. <laughs> so. Yeah. I think from what I can gather... Um, that she, they were all in a car together and her mother was killed in the accident. And then gotcha. afterwards they moved to New York. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I'm like... Mm. Um, and then with this t new timeline, which is Cornwall in 1839... I'm like, holy moly, that's a big jump. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. So mm -hmm. I'm interested to see how those two timelines connect. Um, I'm sure we'll learn more yeah. once she's actually in England. Um, but yeah. Yeah, let's see what everyone else had here. It looks like Andy read one whole page. <laughs> Yay! Good for you. <laughs> Well, this one called the chat before the sprint started. No worries. It happens. Nice. Kim got to 316 in Mad awesome. Honey. Good for you. That's awesome. You must be close to the end then, Kim. Yeah. I want to say that's what she mentioned, like she's going to finish or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. I saw that um, pop up when I first logged in. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Now, did she write this book before the Pink Carnation series? No, after. Pink Carnation was her first. Or her oh. first books. Oh. And this is her second standalone. Gotcha. This is... Yeah. First book, first standalone was The Ashford Affair. And then this one. And then she's had, I think, two or three other ones. Sandwich. I read The English Wife. Yeah. Which wasn't that good. I didn't think it was that great. Looks like Kim has about 100 yeah, left. 100 more pages. Oh, well, getting there. Yeah. Probably not tonight, maybe. I don't know. Are you a speed beater? I wouldn't <laughs> be able to do it. I wouldn't be able to do it in, tonight. 
No oh, man. I keep dropping everything. Ay, ay, ay. Um, not to completely change the subject, <laughs> but just a little something to chat about while we have our chatting sprint here. Mm -hmm. But have you been keeping up with Abbott Elementary? Yes, I'm all caught up. Oh, that show is so funny. <laughs> Except, so, at the end of the latest episode, when the one teacher, like, wins because of the line or whatever, yeah, that I did not appreciate. I was like, will you please let this poor girl win something? I know. I know. I love Ms. Shimenti, but yeah, I know. I was sort of like, oh. <laughs> And she had such a really great episode on her own. Like, even though she lost, like, she had such a great moment with that one student. And then to like go and totally, yeah. like, oh, I hate that stuff. Like, just let her win yeah. something. Gosh. But yeah, I love that show. I still think my favorite episode is when Barbara gets all the names wrong. Oh, yeah, that is funny. <laughs> like, who that? Michelle Williams. <laughs> like, I, just, I just love that so much. That is a really that is a really smart show. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Excuse me, I apologize. Oh, yes, Debbie. You have watched me. Are you up to date with the latest episode with the readathon and the podcast? Yeah, for the longest time I did not the for the longest time that's meaning. Really funny. Yeah. <laughs> um like all of season one, I really didn't like Ava. But this season, I like her. I think she's funny. I don't think she's as like Yeah, I like her more this season. In the first season, I don't think they ever really gave her like a chance to be like she can do it. And this season, they're really showing that, like, if she really tries, she can do it. So I like that. Mm -hmm. oh, she watched it twice. Yeah. <laughs> that show's so funny. <laughs> I like when... Uh, I can't ever remember anyone's name. The only people I remember are, like, Barbara and then oh, Mr. Eddie. What's the main character's name? Oh, my gosh. Janine. Janine, when she like smack talks the redhead, and then she runs all the way back to her classroom. Oh yeah, yeah. That was so like she's so that was so funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't talk about pink. I'm gonna give you a black eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was so funny. I didn't think I was going to like that show. And yeah, I like every week I'm watching it. It's hilarious. Mm -hmm. But anywho, back to reading. Uh, Jenna, I realize I only have an audio. Oh. When does everyone like listening to audiobooks? I only listen to something else. I know. So, Jenna, I'm listening to an audio because that's the only copy that I have um, from Hoopla, which I'm assuming is where you found it as well. Which surprised me because a lot of her books she has on there as ebooks, but not this one. Um, so I'm having a hard time sitting here <laughs> listening to an audiobook. But I'm like, I was playing Candy Crush and then I was scrolling through Facebook. But yeah, I usually, when I listen to audiobooks, I'm doing something else like making dinner, washing dishes, working on double book toast stuff. Um, I don't just sit down and listen to an audiobook. Um, so this is this is hard. I might have to switch to School of Good and Evil um, a little bit later because that's an ebook. So um, but yeah, no, totally hear you there. I listen to me at the same time now, I'll just speed it up. I usually I, the one thing I yeah, there's two things I miss from my corporate job. One is the salary and Two is my ability to listen to audiobooks because I could get through a book every day, day and a half. And this is, of course, back when CDs 
like that was the only other option. So I would check out like a whole bunch of audiobooks on CD from the library and just like keep going through them at work. It was so nice to get through stuff that way and distracted from the horrible job. But I know I, I miss audiobooks. I do have them. I try to listen to them, but I'm concentrating on other stuff. If I'm home, I'm doing stuff. I'm busy. I'm going up and down for laundry or yeah. I'm trying to learn something online so I can't listen to something else. And I just, mm-hmm. it's, I have a harder time listening. And my commute now is like 10 to 15 minutes. That's not enough time to really right. get into a book again. So it's kind of a bummer, but I got to find something to do with it. You know, I really, I do miss doing audiobooks. Yeah. So, I have an yeah. easier time. Yeah, driving with the best. Yeah. I have an easier time when I actually wear my headphones because then I can yeah. hear it better. Because sometimes if like you're doing something and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, what did they just say? So mm-hmm. I usually will wear my headphones unless I'm with the baby. So, um, but yeah, when I used to be at my job and the commute was longer, mm-hmm. I was like getting two books a week done. And yeah, so now I don't really listen to them as often anymore. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know you sewed. That's awesome. Even in the shower. You know, I've tried to do it in the shower. <laughs> that that came out wrong. Me too. <laughs> I've tried to listen. I've tried to listen to the audio in the, the shower. shower. <laughs> I've tried to listen to the audio books in the shower. <laughs> Even with it all the way up, like the volume all the way up on the phone, it sometimes I can't hear it. But I think if you were to get actually one of those Bluetooth speakers where then it connects. I would probably yeah. be able to hear it better. And I always think about doing that because, I mean, I'm sure my husband even would like to listen to music, you know, if he's taking a shower on the weekend where he's actually just like in there, like absorbing the steam and everything. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was awesome. Whoops. Oh, wow. Well. Yep. Yeah. You got to concentrate. And if you're concentrating on one thing, you can't concentrate on the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, If you have a chance, watch the interview with Oprah and Kina Bronson. It's so interesting. Barbara is based on her mother, who is a retired teacher. Oh, that is cool. I totally missed that. I missed that. Thank you. Did she? Yeah, because she's the the creator of the show. Mm -hmm. Um, That's cool. Yeah, I love Barbara. When Barbara, she is so funny. When she was like, I want to go to my church and we're watching Rocky Horror Picture Show. And then Janine's face, like, what? Yeah. She's like, oh no, all the bad stuff's taken out. <laughs> We've watched. And then she like talks about all the bad stuff. She's just so funny. I really do like her. Or when Ava Did she say something like, oh, it's 20 minutes long or something like that? It was super yeah. short. Of course, it's Rocky Horror. We're like, oh, it's 20 minutes. <laughs> Or when Ava was like, oh, don't. Yeah, they're just weird because they were dancing at the club. Ooh, the only club I like. And then whatever she said, she's like, yeah. and she's like, and then Ava's like, ooh, do they have dancing at your club? I like whatever because they let yeah. a horse in. And I'm like, what? Yeah. 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 Oh, do they have good music at your club? Because my old club closed. They let a horse in or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, it's like where do you where do you, where did they get this? It's so funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's too funny. <laughs> That's a good show. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, cool. that is awesome. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Dual purpose. That's yeah. nice. Heck yeah. Oh, I think you guys, I think we had that in one of our reading sprints where everyone was talking. I think Cheryl was a quid, a quilter too. I think I remember you guys talking about that mm-hmm. maybe. Yeah. I, re- I remember that now. Okay. Well, how about since we're an hour in, can we do another sprint? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do number two. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll do another All 20 right. minutes. I hope everyone has some luck. Jenna, if you are listening to it on audiobook, good luck. Otherwise, feel free to do or read anything else. You do not have to start mm-hmm. our book. Um, and I'll get a banner going. So it's 35. So we'll go to the 55. Oops. And we'll see you all then. 
Were you able to hear the ASMR? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Perfect. And I have that set up correctly. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Yeah.
Okie doke. So we are back from that sprint. I got to... I'm still in chapter three. So I don't know how far I am in chapter three, but I'm 9% of the book. Looks like I have 17 minutes left of chapter three. So she's married now. She just met the sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. Kind of getting Rebecca vibes a little bit from mm -hmm. like Jane at like the housekeeper, you know? Yep. So I'm almost to chapter six. Okay. So. Yeah, I want to just keep reading. Yeah, the yeah, audiobook the audiobook isn't bad. It's um I'm good. The narrator kind of changes the voices a little bit. Um and I like the way she's writing Imogen because you can really feel the night the she's very naive, so you can kind of feel that in the voice. She's so young. Mm -hmm. But it's weird because the first main character, which was in 2009, you know, they make reference to her saying that she doesn't have her British accent anymore. So she has like an American accent. Yeah. But then the narrator that reads like the words that aren't the person talking is British. <laughs> so it's like, huh? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's weird. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> But yeah. How is everyone else doing? Do you have anything planned for this week that's fun or different or just usual? I don't have any doctor's appointments this week. <laughs> So that that's a nice fun. change, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. If it's not me, it's baby G. If it's not her, it's me. It's Aaron's supposed to, needs to go to see somebody, but he won't call. So now I think I have to call and figure out if I can get him in. And... Yeah. Dumb. But uh, no, I think my mom is coming on Sunday for dinner. So. There's that. But, um, no, I don't think so. Usually the beginning of the year is like super slow for us, which is great. I mean, because you come off of the end of the year, which is like jam packed full of stuff. So it's nice that, you know, you can kind of come off of that and just like float. Aaron works two more days and then he has a week off so hopefully I can get some stuff done while he's home but yeah yeah yeah, yeah I know it's weird it's it's not like <laughs> I wouldn't say like I'm annoyed I guess per se but like it just throws me off because they made such a point of saying that she has an American accent and her dad still has a British accent. But then the narrator is a British, like has a British accent. So it's weird. I don't know if they were just doing that so that they could draw attention to the fact that she has an American accent, <laughs> which is not good. It's not a good American accent. It's very bad, <laughs> but yeah. So whatever, that's what they decided to do. Uh, chapter 13. Yeah, doctor's appointments. Chapter 13, wow, crazy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Don't know why I'm yawning. I had a nap earlier with the baby. It's not like it was a long nap, but <coughs> it was still a nap. But we had dinner, and it's like, 
it's probably a pregnancy thing, but like, I'm always hungry. <laughs> like, always hungry. Even even when I eat, I'm done eating, and I'm like, I'm starving. There's no. <laughs> I feel like there's no, like, reprieve from just being hungry. I never feel like I eat. And I had a whole plate of spaghetti with meatballs, and uh, the toast, and peas. And I'm starving. So, I don't remember being hungry like this during my last pregnancy. Like, maybe towards yeah. the very end, but, like, not now. <sighs> Had some jello after dinner. Hmm. A little cup of jello. That did nothing. Yeah. So that's cool. <laughs> Loving that symptom. Yeah. Yeah, I guess in the narrator can't do. Yeah. But then I feel like they should have chosen. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It'll be fine. I only notice it when they do the American accent. Then I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. It's weird. <laughs> no, I, I, not, I do not have twins. <laughs> no. I just have one in there. Yeah. Just one. Boop, boop, doo. Okay. Well, I think everyone else must still be reading or hanging out with what they're doing, which is awesome. Um, do you have any other books like on your, I usually do like a, like books I want to read for the year, but I didn't do that this year. And I don't think I will because I have failed oh. both of the years that I've done that. <laughs> have you have any like books that you're like, I really want to read those books this year? I I don't think so. I don't do that normally. I, I like the idea of it. And I used to do it like in 2009 and 10 and 11 on library thing because it was like, oh, nine books for 2009. And that was much more doable than like what would be 23 books, which I wouldn't try. But um, yeah. I generally don't because I am a mood reader and then I have so much stuff I want to read for group reads and stuff. Um, yeah. So I filmed three videos. I have to edit them all, like add images and stuff. But I have five like year long read along book clubs, whatever that I'm doing this year. And I can read five books in a month. That's totally fine. But I, on the other hand, I also feel like, oh my God, this is too much. I'm never going to read anything else, which yeah. I know is not true. Um, so anyways, all this rambling to say, I had thought about doing like 12 books for the year just to do like one a month for myself. Um, and I think I'm going to pick from my book of the month club books just because I have so many of them and I just don't read them. And the ones I've thinned it out like three or four times now, the ones I have, I genuinely do want to at least try reading. Um, so ones that are on my little mental list and I don't have a month for them or anything. So it's looking now I have Circe by Madeline Miller. I want to read that this year. And I finally want to read get a life tab of the Brown or whatever that first one of that series is. I want to read that. I've never read Emily Henry, but I have all of her like new romance books. I want to read at least one of those. And there's a standalone fantasy from Book of the Month I really want to read. And Black Cake, which is a newer release. Um, that's about like grieving after the loss of a mother. I'm not sure I can handle that right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and read those, but I'm not like saying anything until I get it done or I'm in the book already, you know? Sure, sure. So, yeah. How about you? Are you doing that at all? You just said you weren't probably, hey? No, because I didn't, I mean, I didn't even get close this last year, which I mean, understandably so, but it's like, I feel like I've been so much of a mood reader lately that like, I don't even have any ideas of what, I, I don't, I am not doing TBRs anymore. So I'm basically just reading whatever, whenever, which Actually, so far this year, I mean, I've already finished two books. So, yeah, I mean, awesome. I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to see how that goes. 
for the year. I did also say that I wanted to just yeah. read all of my physical books and obviously my seven uh, titles from Hoopla, but I haven't touched any physical books mm -hmm. yet. So I should probably <laughs> do that. But like nothing's really sticking out to me. But it's going to have to because I'm not going to. I only have seven things that I can read on Hoopla. So. And I wasted one of my dang tokens on a baby name book and it was terrible. So. <laughs> I was like, that sucks because now I just wasted a token on that. But. I don't know what I. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think what I might do. It's not in this room, but it's downstairs on my middle grade and children's bookshelves. But after I'm done reading this School of Good and Evil, I might read um, that Christopher Colfer's Land of Stories. Because I think oh, I have the yeah. first one. I think I have the first and the fourth one. I'm pretty sure my mom found me the first one. Because I had the fourth one. Because I, I found the fourth one for like 99 cents somewhere. I'm like, I want to read this series, so I'm going to buy this now. And hopefully I can find the rest. And then I think my mom found me the first one. So I, I think I'm going to read that next. Because um, I'm just in the fairy tale mood. Like, I'm in a fairy tale mood. I don't think I have many fairy tale books yeah. up here. Um, but I've also been thinking a lot about, like, queens. <laughs> So I might want to read one of my nonfiction yeah. books about um, the queen, the king, king uh, Henry VIII's queens or whatever. I think I have one of those books. I might read that too. But yeah, no, I don't have like a list of books anymore because it just wasn't working for me. It wasn't. I was like not wanting to read them. And I feel like if I just read whatever I want, I'm actually reading more. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love making lists of books and like planning things and like slotting things in for prompts for TBRs or read alongs or whatever. I friggin' love that. It's one of my favorite things to do. But then, like, once I put a book somewhere or put it in my pile, I feel like I don't want to read it anymore or I have already read it, even though I haven't. So it's just become like a dead pile. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. Like, now I have three books and my little stack for this month, and I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six there. Plus I've got two over there. I've got our book and my book, my book bag. And then now this one like this. And I'm starting to feel like, Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. I have a, I a stack of five. I do want to read them. Yeah. I have a stack of five books on my nightstand that I've been reading since like 2021. <laughs> I just can't bring myself to like open them up again. Like, I need to, but I'm like, nah, I'm going to read this instead. Mm. So I do need to get those read, though. That's why I have them there. Because I'm like, I am not DNFing these. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish them. And I just can't bring myself to do it. It's so annoying. And some of them are small. It's just whatever. Um, Debbie, I did. I tried the Libby mm -hmm. app. And I totally did not understand it. I... I didn't get it. I So the first time that I tried to use the Libby app, I was trying to borrow like the selection, one of the selection books when I was like reading all of those. And it like told me I had to wait like like it was on like I had it on a hold I had to wait for it to be available and then like I went in like the next day and then it said like I was too late or something and I was like what do you mean yesterday you told me it was going to be available in seven days and then all of a sudden you're telling me that I took too long it was really weird so I was super confused and then I went back into the hoopla and then all of a sudden they had the selection books that I needed so I was like oh that's weird because you didn't have these yesterday but now you have them today so mm -hmm. I was like whatever I'm just going to use Hoopla instead. So I um, I took Libby off of my account. 
um, or off my phone because I'm like, I'm, I'm not going to use it. I can't use like several things. I have to like just use one and get used to it and be done with that. So, yeah, cool. that's cool. Oh, funny. Yeah, I think I have the first one. If it's blue, I think I have a blue book and a green book. Pretty sure the first one is blue. But I don't, I don't know because I can't see it because it's not in this room. It's downstairs. <laughs> you have six more to read beside this one and Priory should yeah. be doable. Are you finishing like Priory this month? Or this month? Hmm. Interesting. Five pages. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm just going to keep picking books up that I want to read and be done with it. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of books, too, that I'm like, I should just get rid of that. I also keep thinking in my brain. Yeah. Yeah, might as well. I keep thinking that I'm good. I read like I used to read when I had more time and whatever. Like, oh, yeah, I can fit that in. I can read that 300-page book today. That's no problem. When the reality is, I can maybe read 100 pages if I'm lucky, and then I fall asleep, or yeah. I have to go to work, or my mom calls, or whatever. Like, it just never quite works out. But my brain, I'm still like, yeah, I can totally do that. So I overplan, and I get way too hyped for stuff, and I got to just cool it. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Holy majoli, that's a lot. Libby, Audible, Scribd, Chirp. Nice. Chirp. Audiobooks and NetGalley. Oh. I logged into NetGalley in 2021. 20, I got a book and then never read it. <laughs> so, and I've never been back. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do that. I think that would be fun. But, yeah, things got crazy. And then I was like, okay. And the funny thing is, is I got it in, in January because it's like one of those things like, I'm going to do this this year. And I had until August to read it. And I never touched it. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. I'm really thinking about reading the rest of the Anna Green Gables like saga because... I liked the book. The first book is what I read. And then I recently read the graphic novel and it brought back all the feels because it was a, it, it was a pretty good um, version. So I'm like, do I want to continue that? I don't know. I also feel like she's a little like Pippi Longstocking. I know, I thought about reading. Yeah. I thought I was going to read the Philippa Gregory series this year. I would start that and like read one a month. No way. Those are intense. Those are like really deep. Like I've been, I have the they're like other bowling girl just sitting pages. there. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I read that like when it first came out and I really liked it. That's the only one I've read in the series. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to read all of them. And I'm going to get them all. I think I have them all now, actually. Thank you, Paperback Swap. But like, I. I can't do that this year. I mean, because you said they're so dense and there's so many words in the page and the physical copies too. Like it really would take a while to get through these mm -hmm. books. I'm like, nah, they'll keep. They yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Debbie, maybe I'll look back into it again. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just wasn't using it properly because it was very confusing to me. Yeah, I, I've only read the first one. Oh yeah, did you like it? I liked it. I thought it. I thought it did a nice job. Um, the the eyes really creeped me out, <laughs> like how they did the eyes. But other than that, I've never read those books. Oh, I think you'd like it. <laughs> you you would blast through it because it's like it's a kids yeah. book. I mean, um. I didn't think I would. So here's the thing. 
So I read it last year. I don't remember when, but I was like, I'm not going to like this book. And people are going to be super mad at me because it's one of those books like that everyone like there's full on readathons with this thing. And you know me, anytime I read a book that everyone loves, I'm usually the one that goes like, it was okay. So I went in thinking, this is going to suck. I'm going to be, you know, kicked off a of book tube. And I read it and I really liked it. Like, really liked it. Not, I don't think I'm like how everyone else is. Like, where they're like, oh my gosh, I'm of Green Gables. It's the best thing. I'm not there. But, and I'm not particular. Like, Anne really wasn't my favorite character, the aunt. I am the aunt. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> so, I I liked that part. So, that's why I'm kind of hesitant in reading the rest because, I mean, I don't know how long the aunt is going to be in the picture. So, I don't want to start reading it and then be like, oh, now I only have to read about Anne. So, <laughs> but, yeah. Anywho, yeah. Good. Well, let's do another sprint. Um, and it is getting quite late. Sure. How do you guys all feel about the timing of our new nighttime stuff? And when we changed our time, I wasn't really thinking about our reading sprints. I was more or less thinking about our new product stuff. But the reading sprints, I mean... This is getting kind of late now, so I don't know if we do these on this night. I don't know. We'll have to think about that because I think we'll do one more sprint here, and then I think it's, I'm going to call it a night because it's already almost 1030 where we are, and uh, I'm usually already asleep by now. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to think about that, but... Um, for right now, let's go ahead and jump into our final sprint for the evening. And I think this still puts us at the same time. I think it's just how much we actually sprint. Like, if we're actually reading or not. <laughs> so maybe we just need to talk less and sprint more. Because it's still two hours. I mean, most of our lives are two hours, yeah. two and a half hours. So, yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like right as a kid loved it, also Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. Okay. Wow. Allie's back. Sweet. Welcome back. We are going to do one final sprint if you want to join us. Sweet. Yeah, I'm across the hall in our guest room, but oh. I'm trying to talk quietly because then How the next reading, room Allie? <laughs> is where the baby is and we share a vent. So I'm really hoping she can't hear me. Uh, yeah. You catch up with that goss. <laughs> Hashtag replay. Okay. Let's get our last sprint in here. And um, everyone enjoy. We're at 19. So we'll do to the 40. Mm -hmm. To the 40. Sounds good. Oh, before we go, Debbie just mentioned a cu cute kids graphic novel called The Lunch Lady and The Cyborg Substitute. Oh. <laughs> That looks, that sounds funny. I'll have to look for that. That sounds really cute. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Debbie. Mm. That does sound fun. I, yeah, anything thanks. with lunch ladies, I feel like, like I would, I would read that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That would be a good time. <laughs> yeah. Here we go.
Okey-dokey. Let's see here. Hmm, looks like Allie got to the gym as well. Good for you. Wow. Who are you? Super productive. Oh, Maybe Jessica. that is. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, it's getting kind of late where we are, so this girl needs her beauty rest. <laughs> really, it's not even that. It's like, I just need to sleep so that I'm ready for cranky pants tomorrow. I think she might be getting a tooth or something because she's just crabby a lot of the time, so... Well, that and she's dropped one of her naps. Oh, yeah. Like, so she'll have one good nap, but it's only like an hour and a half. And then later on in the day, she gets super crabby, but she doesn't want to take a nap. So sometimes I force her to take a nap, but then I sleep with her so that she actually, like, she'll sleep if someone's with her. But otherwise, it's like a one nap day and it's like, oh, my gosh. You don't realize how much those naps count until they're gone. <laughs> so I have to get out to sleep. I can get when I get it. Yep, yep. So yeah, um, how did you do? I mine says fourteen percent. Uh, apparently, while we were chatting in our sprint, my book was still going. So I had to like the whole find time. my place again. Yeah. So now I have it completely off. I don't know why it was doing that. It was like when I would pause it and then like two seconds later, it would just start playing again. And I caught it. But then when I opened it up, it was like very far. And I'm like, oh, that is not where I left off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I got 14%. So I'm in chapter four. Mm -hmm. But. I'm into this, this second, or I'm in the, 
2009 now. So the Imogen and Arthur, it seems like there's like a little bit of a rift there. Mm. And now I'm in 2009 where the main, what's the main character's name? Julia? The current, yeah. Yeah, yeah. current day, yeah, Julia. She's trying to, she's asking the cousin who the woman in the photo is, which mm -hmm. we know is Imogen, but mm -hmm. yeah. So that's where I am. Nice. I got just into chapter seven. So I am on page 82. Okay. So, yeah. Looks like Andy's 54% through. Nice. So that's good. Cool. I think I'm, I'm a quarter through. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably try to listen. I was trying to listen to it all day, like, because I, um, when I was starting to do things, but the baby just, I, it's so hard to, to not use my ears while I'm watching her, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense. And I would put it on mm -hmm. without the headphones, but then I think that like it's too over it's too overstimulating for her to like hear that because it's like chipmunks because I listen to it really fast. So I don't want to mess up any brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I just gotta find the time. Mm. But I played some solitaire. I played some nice. Candy Crush. I scrolled through Pinterest, which was fun. I like that. I like Pinterest. Yeah. I think I have to have a new account. I haven't looked at it in, I don't know, four years, five years at least. So I want to just get a new account because like all of my old coworkers are on it and use it all the time. I don't really want to. I mean, they're nice people, but you know, it's been 15 years. Yeah, I don't like how you, like, Pinterest, the people that you know automatically see all your stuff. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to be anonymous. I don't want people seeing what I'm spinning. I mean, you can make private, like, I make a lot of private boards so that people can't see what I'm pinning. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I don't know why this is like this. Like, I don't, I didn't add any of these people. Yeah. Why? Are they all seeing what I do? Yeah, but silly. Great question, Andy. Our discussion is going to be on the 31st. 31st, yep. Mm -hmm. So Tuesday the 31st. So we don't have anything on the 17th. Then on the 24th, we'll have new product. Mm -hmm. And we'll announce the February book. And then the 31st, which is the following week, will be the just the live discussion. There won't be any new product that, that day. It'll just be the live discussion. Mm -hmm. Great question. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. Allie's oh. listening to the unlikely pilgrimage of Harold Fry. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh. There you go. Hmm. Cool. When I read the word sub box, I thought of Doctor Who and the police <laughs> box. I haven't watched it in a long time, though. I'm very far behind. I haven't seen any doctors since Matt Smith. Oh, yeah. Last one I watched was with Peter. What's his face? Come one after Matt Smith. Capaldi, thank you. Yeah, I missed his last season. I haven't then, seen any of him. Yeah. And then nothing of Jody. So, but now that Jody is going to be on, I really want to catch up because I love him. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay, friends. Well, I think. If there's any, if there's any last comments or questions, get them in there real quick. Cause I think we're going to be calling it a night. 
Yes, Kim. So 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So the same time we started our new products today. Um, it'll be 8. Yes. Oh, my gosh, Allie. I knew you were going to say something <laughs> like that. Just a little behind. <laughs> just a little. Just a little. Bit. <laughs> That's it. We're going to Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, thank you all so much. This was a lot of fun. Um, Thanks, everybody. We have to work on trying to get more sprints in there, but I can tell you I thoroughly enjoy the chatter um, in between. So, um, yeah. So I hope you all have a great night. Hope this wasn't too late for anyone. Um, and we will catch you next time. We'll put all of those book titles in the comments of the new product video as well as our community post. And then you'll have until the 23rd to vote. So, yeah. Good luck reading the rest of That Summer by Lauren yep. Willig. If anyone is new and watching this in replay or anything like that, if you want to be added to our Voxer group, always welcome. Um, and, uh, yeah. I think we'll call it a night. Good night. Good day. Good morning. Whatever comes first. <laughs> See y'all later. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs>